The next part of this video is going to be talking about setup. Once you've set up your lines, um, I'm going to go back to level and go to supervisor again. <clears throat> now I go to setup and I've got my properties. I've got a bunch of stuff. My design, for example, if I hit F3, it says, hey, what do I want my units to be? English or metric? Okay. Um, user means I can set up a, a user shift or a user so instead of doing January, February, March, if I want the month to be J for January, you've got a single digit per month. That, that's something that the user can program. Same with the year, same with the month, and same with the hour. So if you have a special format you want to embed in here, you can do that. And then if you wanted the month, you'd put percent M, and that would be the user month, and then they would use this, okay? Um, <clears throat> under, under design, Again, set up in properties, actually. Here's where you can do the properties of the marker. You can do startup properties. Properties of the marker are going to be, hey, what is your um, head? Do you want a home, your speeds, that type of thing. As far as your pin, you're going to have your pin, what pin it is, how, how far you're stroking out, and your pin rate return is how quickly you want this to return. This is if you're really in a very critical mark and you want to either be super fast or super accurate, you can adjust these. If not, there's not a lot, you know, to do here. If I go to startup F2, this is going to say, hey, what on startup, what do I want to happen? I want to load um, a pattern called test. I want it to go online. Um, the keyboard display and then the mode I want to be normal and I want the mode to be supervisor. If I wanted it to go into um, not supervisor, but I wanted it to go into operator, hit the enter key, and it would go to operator, that type of thing. So here's how you would set that up. <clears throat> you can also set up your host, which is if you're pushing and pulling data, here's a way to do it via the COM port. We can also do this via the Ethernet, which is F5 over here. You can see you can set up your, your local and your remote, that type of thing. Um, and then you've got your clock and your passwords. Your clock is, hey, I'm going to type in the day and time. And then your passwords, which right now are blank, you can physically type in here. So that's a really, really quick on setup. I'm going to go over to file properties because that's another area. Here's where you have your serial number data. So the lower is one, upper is one, and the mode is the wrap. This is a percent %s tells you you can write a serial number, and here's where those are, are done. In park, it says, hey, where do I want this thing to wait in between marks? Here's your defaults. When I add a pattern, this is the size and that type of thing. Instructions is a place where I can type in a note in case when I load this program, you can put down, please remember to use yellow clamp for this part, that type of thing. So in essence, it's real simple. Use the function keys down here, and um, it's a, a pretty user-friendly device.